Hey guys, Nick here from Techno Jedi's again. We're doing something on Evernote today. In our last post, we kind of spoke a little bit about the tags versus folders thing in Evernote. And so today I'm going to show you exactly how I organize my, my notes um, according to tags and not notebooks. As I mentioned last time, this isn't my own idea. It's Michael Hyatt. I think that's how you say his name. I will share the link again. It's an excellent way of, of um, organizing everything in Evernote. Previously, I used to just have loads of different notebooks. So I'd have like a personal notebook and like a work notebook. And then I'd try and add some notes into this. So into my work notebook, I'd, let's, let's try going to my, let's put a new note in work. Then you kind of type your notes, first day at work, and you type all your stuff. Um, and then you create another note in work. I really don't like my colleagues. Like my colleagues. Um, and then you type whatever you want over there. And the problem, not now. The problem with, with this is that that's as far as you can go. So there'll be your work notebook over there and then there'll be your, your notes and that's it. There's, you can obviously create like little checklists and stuff in here. You can do it if you want, but that's as far as you can really go with regards to tiers. Now what I'm proposing and what Michael Hyatt as well and a lot of other high, life hacker guys are doing at the moment is using tags and not folders to organize their notes. And this is what I mean. So let's go into the tags. Where are they? I've got it organized a little bit differently on my side. So let's, sorry guys, I look a little bit like an idiot. Where on earth are the freaking tags? I'm just so used to using them. So let's just type a work tag. Maybe it will show up. Yes, okay, that's why. So I needed to actually create a tag before I did anything. Let's just check and see. If I delete this, will the delete tag thing. Yeah, okay, so it disappears. So what we're going to do over here is I'm going to show you the structure that I normally use to create my, my notes. I'm going to go into a little bit of depth so you can understand exactly what it is that I'm talking about, and then I'll explain a little bit more. So what I do is I have a what tag, I have a when tag, and a who tag. These are the most important. As you can see, uh, I put a full stop between before each of these so that when I'm typing them up, they'll show there. So I can just scroll down. It's very easy. So and then underneath the underneath, you just create some more, and I'll show you what I mean. So there's obviously future, and then there's past as well. And I'll put both of these into the when. Let's try put one. Oh my gosh. I think they probably need to have something in them. So let's do, let's create a note. So, um, work. This is going to happen in future. In November 2015. Okay, and it's going to be awesome. Okay, so that's. That's done, and presentation mode is there, which looks great. Then in the tags, I'll go back and I'll put future into the when. And you do the same with past. So that's that's in there. What? Let's create some other things. So we create a new, a new thing. And what is it? So this is team building. And you can do team building. And this is happening in November 2015. You don't need to do um, when, because that's, you'll see what I'm talking about just now, but you don't need to do when, you just need to put the date in there, because then you'll organize this date into the when. And we can say that his name is Marco Flint from Spider-Man. He's running team building. So yeah, so the reason why I put that little triangle there is that if I want to search later, Let's put also, let's put like Harry Potter. Okay, so we're going to do this. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so we close that up. And then what we can do is, the reason why this is cool is that once you do that, it'll have all of the names. So what, what I do is I organize 
the people I don't know. Look, guys, I hope this isn't too confusing. It makes sense, I promise you. Um, this is if I know if I don't know the person. So Harry Potter, which is already there. But if I do know the person, let's say I know James Blunt. Um, that is that is someone that I do know. So now we then also what you need to do is you need to always be organizing these things. So it's going to get a little bit crazy, but you just need to keep ordering that. So team building goes in there because it's what these three are who's. So those go into the who. And when goes into when, and that is in the future. And then as soon as things move from the future, then you can put them into the past. It's just an easier way of organizing, an easier way of organizing stuff. So you don't actually want to, you don't want to put it in the future, you want to put it, you just want to put the date there. Okay, so then into a little bit more depth, the reason why this is, is so great is that as you can see, we've already got one tier over there. There's the next tier, these two, that's the third tier. And what you can do is you can just keep, keep creating stuff. So you can be like on the 21st of November, 2015, you put that in there, you drag it across, and then you can do at 9 a.m. You can put that in over there. Should go across. Look, sometimes it tags, I don't know if it's Mac or if it's just it being a little weird, but um, sometimes the tags don't let you actually move them around. So I'll be able to move it into November, but not into there. Yeah, so I'm still trying to figure out exactly what that is, but you can create, it's just a bit of a bug. So you can keep making more and more and more and more and more tiers. You can organize everything like this. So I don't ever look through my notebooks. All I've got is not my first notebook. Let's delete this little guy. Yes, don't have a personal delete. Uh, don't have a work. Let's rename it to. These are the only two that you'll really need: is the inbox and the filing cabinet. So what we do is all notes at the moment. So you want to drag these across over here. This is very cool. So you drag these all across here, and you also want to put. Um, okay, so then in my inbox at the moment, let's just close this little guy. And what you want to do is as soon as you've finished, so this thing at the moment has no, no tags on it. So what I'm going to do is, I was meeting with Marco Flint, Marco Flint, and um, this meeting is going to happen again in November 2015. And it says also again about, about team building. So then once I put all these tags into it over there, then I drag it across into my filing cabinet so that it's processed. Okay, so the idea is that you want to keep this as small, so let's say, and then also, I just want to check something quickly, tags, obviously this isn't enough, sorry, I'm getting a little bit excited, there's also a reference and tags, so that's also in there, and then I'm just going to put a little full stop before that, so you can, they'll all be in the same slightly OCD spot with me, it's a full stop over there, references and tags. Um, let's just close this up. And then um, the, the next one is resources. So underneath resources, you'll put like templates. I put a little exclamation mark before it. Templates and like let's say coaching. And then to remember work. Full stop to remember personal. So that then that will go through there. Then what you need to do is you need to organize both of these, put these into um, into my resources over there. Sorry guys, this isn't working because you need to actually have notes behind all this. I promise you it works on my side. So create a whole lot of notes and then you need to start putting them into these categories. I think you can't put something that has nothing into something else. So it does work. This is basically what it looks like. Um, this will, let's just put this wise, it's not going across. So references and tags. Um, I'm just going to delete these just so you can know what it should look like at the end. See, this is what, what the real life is like. It's, um, it's not always that smooth. That's what we're kind of trying to do with this, with this blog is that we don't want to, um, 
we don't want to make it super shiny at the beginning because that obviously costs a lot of money. We're still uh, we're still kind of starting up, but this is basically like how we will organize organize it. The end of my my Evernote at the moment will look exactly like that. I'll have my templates, all of this stuff over here, and my resources. Let me check. No, my resources. Actually, the reason I'm getting confused is that my resources has um, an asterisk next to it as well. And my last one is memories. So I could go like to remember personal, or I just have it as memory memories over there. So that's those are basically my tags. And under these, these will just keep these will just keep getting more and more and more out. So you can make it super intricate. What's quite nice is that you can actually use this as your filing system, but then also you can add multiple tags to certain notes. Whereas you can't add one um, if you're going to do the note. The notebook routes you can't put one note into two different notebooks so if it's a two remember but it's also a personal but it's also something at work you can't put all three of them together whereas if um you met you can just add whatever the heck you want you can put so many different tags to it so one note can have multiple tags which is obviously the benefit of you organizing your system like this so that's that's basically it um, i'm hoping that that was not too confusing um, if it was, please share in the comments. We will we will check through the stuff. We answer comments, we reply to them pretty quickly. You can tweet us, you can do whatever. We want to put more videos up about Evernote just because of how, how much it's helped us. So that's that's it. Um, it's been real chatting with you guys. Please download Evernote. You'll make me happy. You'll make them happy. Evernote is flipping awesome. It's super, super helpful. Cool. It's been real, guys. We'll chat soon.